Welcome back everyone. In our previous lesson we learned how to create an array. Now learning to create an array is not enough. You also need to learn how to insert into that array. You also need to learn how to print the contents of an array. Then only you can properly use arrays. Now we can't just use cin directly on an array. We can't do cin array. What would happen if you do that? You can try. We'll save it and compile it. See? We'll get an error. No match for operator. We can't just simply do that. But we could try this. See? By providing the index, you may initialize an array. Now, but this is a very long process. Right? Like this scene. Like this, you would have to initialize 50 elements. No, 51 elements. How can you make it easy? That is where our loop concept comes into use. Alright. So, if we use a for loop of uh, integer size equal to zero, size less than or less than fifty, and size plus plus. Alright, so now what will happen? Let us reduce this to 5 so it will be easier for us to enter the input. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, now to print the array, just like this, we we'll have to make use of Cout. We have to make use of our loop. That's why I told you, you also need to learn the use of a concept. Now this is the main use of looping. To help us when we use arrays. See out. Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And this is what our array will look like. Now, if you want it to look better, you could also add a space. In this way, see, this is what our array will look like. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So now we learn how to insert into an array and how to print an array. If you want to individually print a specific element of an array, you can use the cout with the array name and the needed index. But if you want to print the entire array, you will have to use a loop or else you will have to write each line of code by your own. Now by using a loop, you can save a lot of your time and reduce the code size. Now that is how to receive input into an array and also to print the contents of an array. Now we will learn how to search in an array. That's very interesting. Let us see that in our next lecture. See you there. Thank you.